In this video, we're going to show how to start putting statements into Learning Locker. So in the last video, we set up a client. If I go back into that org that I was working in, I've got this client. It's got some details available. I've got the key here and I've got the secret. Probably the easiest way to get statements in is to use an application that already generates XAPI statements. So Curator, the app that this MOOC is running on, will do that. Uh, and a lot of other L LMSs will allow you to do that as well. So I've gone into the Curator admin section. You'll only have access to this if you have your own instance of Curator, but a lot of other LMSs will have a very similar setup. So we go admin settings, services, XAPI, and we get this form with all the options that Curator needs to speak to Learning Locker. First thing is to turn it on, and we get the endpoint. So the endpoint will be on the clients page at the top of the list. Have that there for convenience. Ask for the key and the secrets. And it gives us the option of setting an actor type. So it's either track the actor by their inbox or track them by their account. We'll stick with email, so use inbox for now. Save that. Okay, now if I do anything in Curator, it should be sending statements to my instance of Learning Locker. So let's go and enroll on a course. All right, looks good. Now back in the source page. Perfect, I've got all the statements for joining and completing that course. Anything else that I did or anybody else in this organization and curator did would also be generating statements back in Learning Locker. We can open those up, have a bit of a look. So here we've got the actor, and like we talked about earlier, it's using the inbox for an identifier. And the verb is joined, and then the object, which is here, will be the definition of the course. And that URL should take us straight back there, andrewdemo.curator3.com courses demo course.